Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nihira Techies and this is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. In this video, I am going to introduce your new library that is NGRX Entity. So basically, this library is used for managing collection of records in our state and also it is providing some adapter methods using that we can complete our redactions. So the main advantage of this library is it is reducing number of codes from reducer in order to it is improving the performance and also optimizing our code. Okay. So let me go to the official site. So we already completed this ngrx store fx and router store. Now we are in this ngrx entity. So whatever information we discussed that only they provided here and the next thing is we have to install the library. So let me copy this ng command we can install in our application. So our application currently in running mode so let me stop this one and we can execute this command okay. For this application I created based on my last video so that is ngrx credit actions. So let me provide why. So I recommend to watch the previous video. I will share that video link also in the description. Okay, the installation gets completed. Now let me run this application. Okay, this is the screen I have implemented based on my last video. Here I did the complete predictions. For doing this entity adapter implementation, I just duplicated the same code. I have created the one more new menu. So that is customer, okay. So the same records only it's loaded. So before starting the implementation, let me provide some overview how actually it's working. So the first one is entity interface. Okay. So in this NGRX entity, we have this interface. It's called uh, entity states. So basically it is storing this IDs and the entities. Okay. So it is just like a dictionary. Okay. Part of the implementation. The first thing is whatever current interface we are having we have to extend with this entity state okay so let me go to my application and this is my actual state and then this is the interface so here i am going to extend this entity state okay So this entity state belongs to our ngrx entity only and here we need to pass our entity so that is our customer okay and other declaration currently we can remove it for the reference purpose i am just keeping it here so now we are getting the error from the state and the selectors so let me go to the state so in this state i am going to declare the entity adapter so the name we can provide customer adapter okay and then we have a function create entity adapter that also belongs to our ngrx entity okay it is not imported so let me import it manually and here we have to provide our entity class that is customers so now we initiated our entity adapter the next thing is in this state so let me remove this one so instead of that we can use our customer adapter get initial state so if you have any default value we can provide it here so as of now I am keeping it as the empty only okay so now our state also fine the error got result and the next thing is let me move on the reducer side so in this reducer side we have a lot of lines around 74 lines okay so let me optimize this one first let me take this load customer success here let me remove the existing code and then we can use our entity adapter and here we can see lot of extension methods okay add many add one get initial state map remove select all sell, set many so here i am going to choose this set all 
So in this set all, I'm going to pass this action dot list and also our actual state. So the function is completed within the single line. And next to this get customer success. So basically it is the get by code functionality. So current implementation it's not needed. So let me remove this one. And this load customer field that also we can handle in this different way. So let me remove this one. And then this add customer success. Okay. So let me command the first three lines. And then we can remove these lines. So the same way. And then our entity adapter. Here I am going to use this add one. So in this add one first we have to provide the entity after that we have to provide our actual state. So action dot input data and then our state. So since we are using this JSON server API, I have to include this customized code also. So let me uncomment this one and from our state. So in this state, basically we can have this entities and also the ID. So here I'm going to use the map function. This number. So finally we can use this new data in our functionality. So let me save this one. So next in this update customer success. And here also we can remove the existing code. And it is slightly different. Okay. So we have to include some changes in our effects and also the actions. First let me go to our action. So here in this update customer success. We are passing our props directly. So instead of the direct data, we have to use the update function. So this update is belongs to our NGRX entity. Okay, look like it is not imported. So that's why we are getting the error. So in this action side, we have done. So next in this CFX side, let me declare one more variable. Updated the record and the data type is so the same update and our entity class customers again here also it's not imported we can import this one in grx entity okay now the issue got resolved and then we have to pass the value the first one is id so id is nothing but our unique value we can get it from the action and the next one is changes changes is nothing but our entity object so next this updated record we can pass it here okay the changes are done so let me format this one Finally, let me go back to our reducer side. I am just using this entity adapter and the function name is update1. So here we have to pass this input data and also our actual state. That's it. So finally, this uh, delete customer success only there. And here also we can remove the existing codes. So instead of that, I'm going to use our entity adapter. And the method is remove one. So here we have to pass the key. Action dot code. And then our actual state, I believe. Okay, the changes are done. So this open pop up customer this action is not needed okay see now we have reduced number of lines from our reducer okay finally let me move on the selector side and here also we have to use our entity adapter first time declaring one variable customer selector and then i am using our entity adapter so here i am going to choose this get selectors 
okay next in our actual selector so let me take this get customer list first we can pass this one that's fine so next let me remove this section so instead of that we can use our customer selector and here we have to choose this select all that's it at the same way we can implement this get customer also constant selected entities so let me use the same code so instead of the select all I am going to use this select entities okay and in our actual selector I am going to pass one parameter so that is ID data type is number and here instead of this get associate state let me pass this selected entities we can remove these sections so instead of that state of ID that's it so let me format this one so the most of the changes we have done so currently we are getting some errors from our component side so in this component side so in this get customers uh, initially we never passed any value so as of now we have to pass the exact ID okay so let me provide one hard coded value initially and then we are getting some errors so what I'm going to do let me declare two variables here one is edit code and the data type is number and then edit data and the data type is customers so whatever value is coming so let me include this variable that's it also converting this into customers so next our actual data will be available in this edit data variable so let me assign into our form okay and other things are fine next in our listing component while opening the pop-up we have dispatched this open pop-up customer action okay so let me remove this one it's not needed and then we are passing the exact code so the same data I can access from our add customer component so let me go back to here so already I am accessing this title the same way so this dot edit code equal to we can get like this so this dot dialog data dot code So instead of the hard code value, we can pass the exact code. And also I am checking one condition, the edit scenario only it's needed. So if it is greater than zero, we are subscribing these selectors, otherwise it's not needed. So let me format this one. So now we can verify this one see see this customer listing the data is loaded next let me try to add one new record level 2 supplier once I'm saved so we are getting the same created successfully message and then the records also loaded so once I'm clicked this edit see the records are loaded right so maybe let me check the other records we can take this one this is Ram Kumar I am just changing this name and the email address level supplier see all are got updated our update from should be also working fine so finally I am trying to remove the one of record maybe this id6 let me remove this one okay see it's got removed so 
So successfully we can finish the complete redactions. See now the reducer code also optimized. So the one thing is I am not implemented that actually I will cover in the separate video. So if you are checking here in this initial state, we are using the single entity using that we have completed the full redactions. Okay. In some scenarios, we have to include some additional properties, something like this. So that also we need to handle it and also additionally we can include some configuration So all the things we can cover in the next video. So now we are in the end of the video Still if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching